British vlogger Jason Lightfoot hasn't uploaded a video for 14 days. This just in, British influencer Jason Lightfoot not published a video for 14 days. Jason from the Living in China channel has not been seen or heard of for 14 days. I just not believe any of this shit for a second, you know, he's probably doing some new clickbait. Somebody told me that he packed up and went to live in India. Yeah, that's what I heard. I'm back! Where have I been? What's been going on? No, that thumbnail is not clickbait. That is real. I did go to the hospital. I did go into an uh, emergency. Let me explain. Lincoln, explain to everyone what happened. Where have I been? Where have we been? <laughs> Explain to everyone, tell everyone. <laughs> what is going on? I've been missing for two weeks. I did go to the hospital. I had my uh, blood tested there. Look, you can see the bruise. My, uh, I had the IV. Uh, oh, you can't see. I had the IV there anyway. What happened? Well... Before we get into it, I want to say a huge thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. In the ocean of online content out there, there's a lot of websites that will take your information without you even knowing it. But you can swim under the radar with Surfshark VPN or a virtual private network. Surfshark is an app and browser extension that basically enables you to place your laptop or phone anywhere in the world and allows you to access the internet as if you were in that country. This lets you access and unblock websites and content that you may not usually be able to see. Since many people are staying in their homes right now, uh, maybe you're going into your second or third lockdown, uh, unfortunately, using Surfshark will mean that you will never run out of content to watch. Just change your location and you can access a bunch of different libraries, for example, on Netflix or on Disney+. Plus. For example, Avengers is not available on UK Netflix, but if you switch Surfshark's location to the US, you can watch Avengers all day long. You can stop websites from tracking your info and selling targeted ads to you. Plus, with Surfshark's alert ID protection, you'll get an alert when someone is trying to break into your email. Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use on an unlimited number of devices. Now, just for you guys, I've gotten you a special code. If you use my code, here we are, then you get 83% off and plus three extra months for free. And also for this month only in June, you get antivirus included as well. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk. You can go and try it out for yourself. The link is in the description below. Two weeks ago, I was just sat at home watching TV, watching some videos on YouTube. And uh, I decided I'm a little bit peckish. I want to get some food. And so I ordered some why am I? Jiao ordered some what did you order? Chinese food. And I decided to get a burger, you know, because I'm humble wang. But I didn't order Burger King because I've been having it a lot recently. And I didn't get McDonald's too. I decided to try a new uh, franchise. Now I'm not gonna say the name of this franchise because I don't want them to sue me. <laughs> um, but I tried this new franchise and the burger, it was, it was, it was pretty good. Um, I got two bacon burgers, right? Burger, pretty good. Didn't think anything about it. Oh, that was the only thing that I ate on that day. The next day, I didn't fe feel ill, but I felt something's not right, you know? Uh, but I went to the gym anyway. And then when I came back from the gym, I suddenly started to feel very sick and ill. But I didn't think anything about it. It wasn't too serious. I didn't feel that bad. And I just brushed it off. Then later that evening, I started to get a fever. 
Um, just a normal fever, nothing I'd never ever felt. You know, I'd felt it before, just normal run of the mill fever, right? And then the next day, I started to get diarrhea. Bit of fever, bit of diarrhea, nothing new. This water guy is trying to get in the vlog. Come and buy this guy's water. Anyway, <laughs> and then throughout the day, the diarrhea, the intervals between the visits to the toilet started to become shorter and shorter. I was having diarrhea every hour, every 30 minutes, every 20 minutes, to every 15 minutes. The viscosity of the diarrhea started to become lower and lower to a point which it's difficult to, to describe. Uh, but it was something, this, this was my toilet situation. Every 15 minutes, this. And again. And again. Same consistency, same viscosity. Literally, literally, my ass was like this river, right? And so, and and very, I don't know what I don't know what what happened. Very acid, ac acidy. I don't know if it was stomach acid, bile, or whatever. Right, just every 15 minutes, non-stop. So as you can imagine, when it gets to night time, how can I sleep? And so, the madness ensued. Every 10 to 15 minutes a geezer <laughs> was erupting from my rear end <laughs> and it was it was hot same temperature as a geezer just like I'm saying uh, it was very hot indeed after the whole night you know sleepless night um, I tried to drink and uh, as much fluid as possible but you know it was just flush I'm being flushed straight through so by the morning, I was on my last legs. I, th I, th <laughs> I thought I was a goner. <laughs> Death by diarrhea, right? <laughs> the cat! The cat! <laughs> what are you doing? Ciao, Lenny. What are you doing? What are you doing? And so I made it to the morning uh, and then Jiao woke up and I said you know I was shivering and I laid curled up in a ball and I was like oh, okay <sighs> can you get me some anti-diarrhea tablets and ibuprofen right and so she went out and got them I took them didn't do anything didn't work um, I was still just just flushing out everything, right? And so I was like, that's it, I've got to go, got to go to the hospital. And so we went to the hospital and we went into the normal way of going into the hospital, not uh, the emergency way. And went into the stomach department. But then I wasn't registered at that hospital because I've never been to the hospital. Ever, you know, I'm a healthy, healthy kind of guy. <laughs> so first I had to register, uh, which took a little while. Uh, so then I was like waiting there, shivering, uh, right? Shivering and uh, almost uh, collapsing. And then I registered and then we booked in to see the doctor, this stomach, um, stomach, that department and got a ticket queued up and then went in. And then the doctor's like, oh, what's wrong? Ba 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 ba. And then we told him everything that happened. And the doctor's like, you should have just gone straight into <laughs> emergency. And he was like, go there now. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, doc. Um, and we went to emergency. So then I went into emergency 
and the uh, doctor was like asking a few questions. They tested my blood. They took a sample of the poop. Um, and then I had to wait for the results back. Um, obviously, so they can see what's wrong. Um, so they got the results back and they couldn't find, they couldn't find anything, anything um, came up on the results. But the doctor did say there could have been some kind of bacteria uh, or something which showed on my uh, results. So then they put me on the IV to replace all the fluids that I lost and they gave me some uh, other medication to try and stop it. Uh, and as soon as I started having the IV, my, uh, the diarrhea started to stop. Um, it might have been the, the, other, the a different type of medication that I tried as well. Um, and so I was sat there in this room having the IV and people are coming, coming and going a couple of hours, two hours, um, having their IV. And I was, I was still having mine and it's been like four hours had gone. Then more people are coming, going, five hours, six hours, seven hours, eight hours, nine hours. And the nurse keeps coming back in, replacing the fluid. 10 hours, right? And so after 10 hours, I was like, said to the nurse, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> when am I finished? And she's like, oh, you've just got a few more uh, bottles left. And then it was like another hour, 11, 11 hours. And I was finally finished. I mean, the, the amount of liquid that they put back into me, it was crazy. So I've been having the IV for 11 hours and it's finished and the doctor came in and he was, she was like, oh, no more diarrhea. And I was like, yeah, feel like pretty good, feel better. Uh, and she was like, I'll take the medication, uh, keep taking it. And then uh, I'd finished the IV, so I went home. And then the next day I woke up, no, no diarrhea. I slept that night, was feeling good. I thought, I thought, uh, that I was, I was back. I was back to 100%. And so I stupidly stopped taking the uh, anti-diarrhea medicine. And uh, as the day went on, I started to not feel so good again. And then the diarrhea came back. The diarrhea came back slowly started coming back and then it got worse and worse and then it was it was back again like it was before every 15 minutes and so I'm thinking oh no I quickly took the anti diarrhea stuff but it didn't really have that much of an effect and so I had the same again had the same again I was up most of the night running to the toilet with a geezer blasting out my bomb the next day I took the anti-diarrhea tablets again and I started to feel better again and then as the the days went by you know it was just so so many days and I just gradually got better uh, slowly um, which leads us up to today you know I've, ne I've never I've never been that sick in my entire life it's crazy i don't know what was in that burger what kind of bacteria it was and it didn't come up on the the blood tests or the the uh the bacteria tests that they do and so i don't know what was what did i what did i eat and maybe it wasn't from that burger but that was the only thing that i ate that day um so it was crazy anyway i'm back it took, it took two weeks to get rid of this thing, but now I'm back to 100%. It's a new month, it's a new day, it's June, it's my month. It's my birthday this month. Um, I'm not gonna tell you which day because I know you guys, <laughs> you're gonna buy gifts for me, you know. <laughs> um, it's also Lincoln's uh, birthday uh, this month. I will tell you his birthday um, because I know you guys, you want, maybe you want to buy him something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't forget to follow Lincoln's channel. And it is Lincoln's birthday 
on the 27th uh, this month, June. Uh, and then it's Jao's birthday in July. Uh, so we're back anyway. And uh, I'm back 100%. It's gonna be more videos blasting. So we're back, baby. And I will not be ordering from that place uh, ever again. Okay, that is the end of this video. If you want to help me on this video, press like, and I will see you in the next one. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs>